Hello and welcome. The goal of this tutorial is to show you how to use the Simply Analytics database to create a location analysis report to identify a specific target market, create maps for your chosen consumer segments, and locate consumer behavior using PRISM. In order to access this database, on the University of Alberta Library website, select the Find Databases tab and look up Simply Analytics from our list of databases. This is what you'll see once you get to this database. In order to save maps and reports that you create and export them, you must create an account and then sign in with your University of Alberta email address and password. I've already filled in that information, so I'll just click on sign in. Okay, so for the first thing we need to do is just open our new project. And then from here, we can put in the location that we wanna search. So we'll start with by putting in Edmonton. And click on Edmonton ABCSD, which stands for Census Subdivision, and click on Next. Simply Analytics provides seed variables to help auto generate maps and reports, but there are many more variables available. So once you have created a project, you can use the Data tab to add more variables to your project. So for this example, we'll create a project starting without these seed variables. When you start a new project with, without seed variables, it asks you to choose a new view. Today, we'll select the comparison table while adding location and data variables. So to do that, we'll just click Create under Comparison Table. In the left-hand data variables table under Data, we'll select Age. Here you see a menu of different age variables to choose from, but we'll use the filter search box to quickly search for an age range. So for this example, we'll type in the age range 20 to 24 and then choose number total population 20 to 24 from the results. And we'll also click on add to favorites. The next variable we want to add is income. And we'll also use the filter box to quickly search for an income variable. And in this case, we'll type in median. And we'll select households by income current year median. And also add that to the favorites. So we'll close that, and next we'll click on Ranking Table. The population variable has been added automatically, so we must now add the income variable from our favorites. So click on the star in the left-hand menu and select Household Income. And there we go, it's added to the table. To identify a specific target market, review the data by whatever variable you decide is the most significant to your research question. For this example, click on the income variable and sort from largest to smallest. When you have identified the census tracts that fit your targeted profile, you can add them to your favorites by clicking on them and selecting add to favorites. To keep it simple, from this example, we will select the first three census tracts from this list to add to variables. Next, click New View on the right-hand side. Bring up Quick Report. A quick report will give you a demographic overview for the census tracts you've identified as your target locations. So click on Create under Quick Report. To add locations to your quick report, click on Locations in the upper left-hand corner. And from the favorites, click on the census tracts that you added previously. Then deselect Edmonton and Canada. Click on Done. The Quick Report Demographics Overview for your chosen census tract locations will now be generated. You can change the Quick Report content to show the prison reports for your chosen locations as well. From the drop down menu, select Prism Report. PRISM is a market segmentation system that classifies Canada's neighborhoods into unique lifestyle types. You can map any of the PRISM segments within the census tracts you've chosen. To do this, click on either the number or percentage in the PRISM segment you have chosen. So we'll go to the middle one here, click on the percentage, and then we'll click on Create Map. Because of the income variables that we've chosen earlier, we have now created a map for the prison segment Urban Elite. To view what these prison segments mean, go back to the variables on the left and click on Data. In the Data search box, type in Urban Elite. So 
Select Number Households in Urban Elite. Click View Metadata. Scroll down and click on the Data Sheets icon. Now you can view the metadata for the PRISM segment, Urban Elite. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For questions, reach us at library.ualberta.ca slash ask us or text us at 587-409-2999.